welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works today i am going to explain about washing machine mounting bracket so left side is a mounting bracket and this is the forming tool so i'm going to show you how to create this component so before creating this component we have to create one forming tool so i'm going to show you how to create this component this forming tool so let's start now so now i'm going to create forming tool open new or file select the top plane go to sketch take center point arc select the origin this is 202.8 this is 161.9 so if it is screen create a center line take one line just draw horizontal go to mirror entity select this line select the center line so that it will become symmetric now go to corner trim trim the additional lines now this distance between two lines is 149.1 see here we have to make it equal then it becomes symmetric so now we have to make fillets see these two fillets are 6 mm say okay so this side is 10 mm say okay the bottom block sketch is ready now we have to extrude so this is 2 mm height say okay this block is ready now so this t shape we need to create now select this top face go to sketch keep it normal keep it in wireframe now draw one center line
so this is horizontal the angle between two lines is 12.8 draw a straight slot from this point so place it randomly somewhere here make these two points coincide the angle between two these two lines is 80 Draw one line, go to mirror option, select this line, select this center line, so we are getting angle, so we need to make this two parallel. So make it parallel. This is 16. This is 31. This is 9, so it is automatically taking 4.5 since it is a slot feature. Select this edge convert entity, go to trim go to corner trim select this so it is showing it is deleting the other line so go to trim once again go to power trim delete these two lines now go to corner trim now say ok make it 82 make it driven and this is 
so this is constraint now now we have to dimension these two lines Twenty six point five. So this feature has been created now. We have to extrude this feature. So I am taking twenty mm height. So this feature is created. now we have to mirror this feature so go to feature mirror entity and select this extruded feature so it is created now now we have to create this taper cutout so select front plane go to sketch keep it normal so here just take one rectangle select this remove horizontal just make it taper take one center line join these two ends this is very much important so this distance should be always more than the double the sheet thickness because when we apply any fillets or or at this edges so here in the top we are going to apply two fillets so the minimum fillet radius is equal into sheet thickness here i am taking one mm sheet thickness so 1 plus 1 2 So 2 mm is mandatory. So to avoid the errors and interference of the two fillets, we have to give more the this value more than the double the sheet thickness. That is 3 mm. So to constrain this, we can give the dimension. Otherwise, we can leave it. so we have to give this angle how much angle we needed so this angle is 8 degrees say okay now go to extrude cutout and select through all both sides and say okay so this is done now now we have to give fillets we have to apply fillets select this edge and fillet is 1 mm so it should be always equivalent to sheet thickness sometimes it can be more than the sheet thickness but it should not be less than the sheet thickness because when you place this tool on the sheet metal 
it shows an error it, it doesn't create this form fillets are very much important by creating a forming tool now apply fillets at these two corners four corners that is 2 ml is two say okay the vertical fillets are important because when we apply fillets at this location this fillet will form tangency that is very, very much important so select fillet once again so it is maintaining tangency so the order of fillet applying fillets also very much important so here i am giving 2 mm so top side i have taken 2 mm radius once again i am applying fillets at the bottom side here i am taking 1 mm because in the cross section as i told you the the minimum distance is 3 mm so the fillet radius should not be less than the the minimum height so here i have taken 2 mm so other side i am taking 1 mm that is 3 see otherwise there will be an interference at this location now let's uh, create these features select this face now keep it in wireframe select this outer edge go to offset and give 5 mm select this line go to offset entity here gives 8 here select this point just move it inside so that it merges with the component keep it here go to feature keep it extrude here thickness we have to keep mid plane and thickness value is 5 mm keep this height as 3 mm so this is how it is forming say okay now go to fillet feature select this full round fillet say okay so this is wrong 
now select fillet once again and select this bottom edge so it is taking tangency and is creating fillet see here this fillet formation is very much important sequence also so the fillet should merge like this so this is very much important while creating now go to fillet once again select these two edges select fillet once again so it is taking tangency now say okay so it's better to take 1 mm that is equivalent to sheet thickness because these features will form from inside so inside edge should be always equivalent to sheet thickness so this forming tool is created now now we have to apply forming feature go to forming tool feature select this top face so we don't have any cutouts for lancing operation so we have to leave this blank faces to remove say okay so this is the stopping face and uh, the yellow portion is forming faces now i'm going to create this mounting bracket i'm in the new part file select top plane go to sketch take center point rectangle select these two lines make it equal go to smart dimension sorry 200 now go to sheet metal module select base flange see this here i have taken 1 mm thickness because my forming tool is based on the 1 mm sheet thickness and k factor is 0.4 it's okay now go to forming tool folder here position right click and select this keep it normal we have to give 100 mm so it is exactly at the center See here, this component is created now. See, if you want other side, just go to Edit Feature, flip the tool. 
say okay. So I'm keeping in this direction. Now select the right plane. Go to sketch. Keep it normal. Keep it in wide frame. Make one corner rectangle. This is for cutting feature. So the distance between outer edge and this this distance is 6 mm. So you can constrain the other dimensions. At this moment, I am not constraining. So go to sheet metal and extruded cut. Here, keep it in isometric view and select through all both sides. So automatically deletes the additional material of the component. See here, it is created now. Now I have to create these whole features. So select this face, go to sketch, keep it normal, keep it in wireframe. Here we can use two, two options, one is extruded cut or whole feature or simple whole feature. But at this moment I am using cut feature to simplify. So make one circle, small circle here and one more circle here. This whole diameter is 8. This is 4. Select these two points, make it vertical, This is 30. This is 16. Now go to mirror entities. Select this circle and this circle. Select this center line. Say OK. Now the distance between these two lines 129. This is 22.5. Okay. So go to sheet metal extruded cut. Here we can use simple hole. So keep up to next. Say okay.
see these features are created now now we have to create these cutouts so here select this face go to sketch keep it normal keep it in wireframe select this edge and keep it 5 mm distance and here also select this edge so reverse direction we did here select this edge and convert entity now select this outer edge and convert entity go to trim tool select corner trim so outer edge and this line here also select this outer edge and outer line see okay take center line select four entities go to mirror entities and mirror this feature now go to sheet metal extruded cut give it in shaded form see this how it's moving direction make it through all say okay see the material has been removed here both the directions now once again we have to so here we need to select this top face go to sketch keep it normal keep it in wireframe and select this make it uh, so convert entity select any of the edge convert entity convert entity here also we have a side we have to convert entities now select this edge offset entity flip the direction this is 35 say okay once again select this edge offset entity now this is uh, 10 mm so we have to keep in reverse direction now select this outer edge convert entity select this outer inner edge convert entity go to trim tool here 
here also select this line and this line make one center line select all four entities make it mirror say so, okay here also offset 5 mm convert entity select this line convert entity select this line convert entity and trim so corner trim helps us to make this sketch cool closed loop that is the advantage so select four entities So we have mirrored this entity now. Now go to sheet metal extruded cut. So make it through all. Keep it in shaded form. So you can see here it is removing the material in all the directions. Say okay. So these cutouts are created now. So we have to remove these uh, sharp edges. See here. So here we have two faces. To avoid that, what we have to do is select this face, go to surface option, delete face. Now we have to select delete and patch. So it automatically deletes this face and makes single face. So it's easy for us to make fillet. Here in forming operation we cannot go to break corner and select fillets sometimes it doesn't take so what we have to do is we have to apply regular fillet so here i am taking 1 mm equivalent to sheet thickness So I have applied fillets on the all the corners. Say so, okay. So this component is ready now. This is mounting bracket for washing machine. So that's how we create these kind of components with the forming tool. Thank you very much.